Hello and welcome to the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'm Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath. And in this week's episode, I want to talk about keeping it real. I know that I've talked before in previous episodes about the need to exercise candor, the need to be honest and straightforward. Um, But this is a topic that I keep coming back to because I continue to see this as a challenge in our industry, particularly when we're interacting with senior leaders in our organization or with the C-suite. So today we're really diving into the importance of honesty, of straightforwardness, and candor in crisis management, business continuity, and crisis communications. So I want to talk about why it's essential to call bullshit when you see it. First is that when you're in a crisis, honesty is one of the most powerful tools that you have. And I think even if you think about this from the standpoint of reputation management, um, being honest is really the only way to work through a situation. Honesty is one of your most powerful tools that are is in your toolbox. And being upfront about the situation that you and your organization are faced with will help build trust and credibility with stakeholders, particularly those outside of your organization. The second is that clear and direct communication um, cuts through the confusion and it ensures that everyone understands the reality of the situation that you are being faced with. There's no room for sugarcoating or ambiguity. When you sugarcoat something, when you avoid the harsh truth, you delay the inevitable hard conversation down the road and you make it harder. Sugarcoating can lead directly to misguided decisions. It can lead to poor decisions and poor prioritization and a false sense of security for your organization. What you want to do instead is to encourage a culture of candor. You want to encourage a culture where team members are um, feel safe to speak their minds. You want them, this, this type of a culture fosters transparency and innovation because you cut through all of the bullshit that's in the way. This is about creating an environment where honesty is not just accepted, but expected. You want to be able to get to that, you want to be able to get to the right answer. And sometimes the only way to get to that right answer is through the hard truth. I'll give you an example of this. I think I've, I've shared this example before, but, um, you know, I had a situation where we were dealing with an active shooter threat in my previous, uh, in my last corporate job. Um, I had a, a uh, crisis leader that was doing a nice job of leading the situation, but we had people that had come into the command center that were not part of the crisis management process. And she did a very courageous thing. When I got there, I saw that things were under control except for this person that was interfering. And I asked her how I could help. I was her boss's boss's boss, but I owned crisis management. I said, how can I help you? And she looked right at me and looked right at somebody who was even more senior than I was and said, I need him removed from this room because he is getting in the way. And I proceeded to remove him from the room, partially physically. But I got him to come out and then I went to, I sent him off where he needed to go. Now, the courageous conversation, the candor conversation that I had to have later was with that individual and other leaders because I needed to explain why we did what we did. And the harsh truth of that is that this individual who was a corporate officer was out of line. He shouldn't have been in the room. He should not have been interfering the way that he was. Not everyone in your organization is going to appreciate straightforwardness. They will feel um, repelled by this to some extent. So I would encourage you to find ways to be straightforward without being offensive in doing so. Now, in a crisis, sometimes you have to be very direct and very blunt, and and that's just what you have to do. Um, But some folks will not appreciate your straightforwardness. And so look through experience, I think you can find ways to deliver those messages in a less harsh manner. Um, Where honesty is crucial, or while honesty is crucial, I should say, it's also important to be sensitive to the emotional impact of what you're saying and how you're saying it. And finding the right balance that works for you with how you communicate is key to effective communication and your ability to come across in that very straightforward way. Um, in the long term, keeping it real establishes you as someone who is going to tell the truth, 
someone that people can trust to give critical feedback, someone that you can you are you can become someone then that is trusted to not bullshit others, to not lead people astray. And you will find that more folks will come to you seeking your feedback because of the credibility that you have built. You will have stronger relationships. And because of your candor, you will have better outcomes in a crisis because folks will know that you will say the hard truth. So my challenge to you is to practice honesty and straightforwardness in your own crisis management and business continuity efforts. I would encourage you to reflect on your communication style and make a commitment to just keeping it real. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.